Are we actually projecting what the market wants? Are our programs relevant and adaptive to the changes in the marketplace? That is a key point that we need to look at when we look at uh, the, uh, the way extended education at AUC in the future should be uh, shaped. Executive education and extended education at AUC started many, many years ago. If we actually go back, uh, it started back in uh, 1924. So next year we're celebrating 100 years. The extended education hub comes as a natural expansion of extended education activities at AUC, which has been growing steadily for decades. And with the increased demand on lifelong uh, education in the area of New Cairo. A place where we can integrate all our extended education activities. Currently we have at least four entities that provide continuing education courses. Uh, the School of Continuing Education, uh, the uh, Executive Education in the School of Business and the Executive Education in the, in the School of GAP and the, ex the Engineering and Science Services in the School of Sciences and Engineering. We want to integrate these uh, four entities in one building uh, which uh, will allow us to collaborate together and bring better integration and efficiency to our operations. With our instructors inside this building to be hours of growing hours of co-learning, hours of empowerment so that they leave this building feeling empowered enough to grapple with very complex realities and very many emerging challenges and opportunities. I see the new building as uh, a high-tech building. Having uh, uh, specifically designed a space for continuing education, I think, will improve their experience and allow us to do things that are tailored to this level of uh, professional participation. Having spaces that are flexible enough to be changed in size and in function uh, to help us all deal with emerging issues and deal with multiple designs for instruction. The Extended Education Hub is expected to serve different type of audiences ranging from teens and youth uh, to going through professionals and uh, C-suite executives. So it will be quite challenging probably to design uh, a building that will fulfill the requirements of uh, these types of uh, users and uh, we're looking forward to seeing how, uh, how we're going to face this challenge.